What can I put this in? Just, oh! <laughs> Oops. Hey, I'm Megan Mitchell, and I'm here in the Thrive Market Test Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a coffee cheesecake featuring collagen creamer. You know I love my collagen. I'm gonna put it in a cheesecake, because I'm crazy. So I'm using a collagen creamer, and I'm using coffee. So it's like coffee and cream but in a delicious cheesecake. And it's a no-bake. I mean, you bake the crust, but the rest isn't. So, easy peasy. <laughs> Let's start on the crust, y'all. Food processor, gluten-free graham crackers. I'm gonna gently break them up just to help my food processor along. These are, ooh, these are cinnamon, but you could use honey graham. You could, if you wanna get wild, maybe chocolate graham cracker. Why not? But I have cinnamon in the crust, so I'm kind of leaning into that, that flavor. And you can find gluten-free graham crackers, guess where? Thrivemarket.com slash prep school. So if you're like, Meg, where do I find it? That's where you find it. And sliced almonds, thrivemarket.com slash prep school. If you're wondering what Thrive Market is, they sell basically everything in front of me straight to your door, along with meat, seafood, wine. It's great, it's just great. Coconut sugar. I was gonna, I was gonna pour that not look. I was not gonna make it. Salt. Cinnamon and cardamom. I want my crust to have as much flavor as my filling, so this is just a delicious, delicious crust. All right, blitz this up. You want it to resemble fine sand. So pulse it a couple times, so you want to make sure there's no large bit, bits of graham cracker. It should look like this. Resemble sand. Clean bowl and just pour that in. And I'm doing this because I want to add the coconut oil into the bowl. I've tried it directly into the food processor and it just kind of made a wet mess. So just do this part by hand. And you need one third cup of melted coconut oil. It should be wet and kind of hold together when you squeeze it. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees for this crust. So I want to bake this for about 12 to 14 minutes until golden brown and set, because this is the base, so if it kind of crumbles or falls apart, the entire cheesecake falls apart. I'm using a nine inch springform pan. If you've never used a springform pan, this is what it looks like. It has a removable bottom, and you might want to put it with the little lip facing up, flip it, and then the cheesecake easily slides off. Thanks to Miss Angela Gaines for that. So take this, place it in. Lock it into place. So just lightly spray your pan around the edges and on the bottom for easy removal. And then let's add in our crust. You just wanna push this out into a flat, even layer. I use a measuring cup to kind of help it along. This looks perfect. I'm gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for 12 to 14 minutes, like I said, until golden brown, and then I'll let it cool while that happens, I'll show you how to make the filling. My crust has baked and cooled. You can see it's nice and golden brown. Not ready for that, I'm gonna make the filling. To a high power blender, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of raw cashews that I soaked in cold water overnight. I drained them, I rinsed them, and now they're with me, <laughs> now they're here. So two and a half cups. Why did I soak my cashews overnight? It just softens them, so when I blend them, they're super creamy. One and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. If you want, you could use any non-dairy milk that you like. And then I'm using three scoops of Garden of Life grass-fed collagen creamer. And I'm using their vanilla flavor. They also have a chocolate flavor, which would be kind of delicious too. So this is just a great way, a different way to use the collagen creamer. And it has types one and two, which is great for hair, skin, and nails. And it says energy, beauty, and joints. It has MCTs, probiotics, prebiotics, Baby's got it all. Garden life, you figured it out. I wanna drink my coffee and I want my collagen all in one. Half a cup of melted coconut butter. Different than coconut oil, it's creamy. Look at that, it's very coconutty and like a little sweet without any sweetener in it. I'm using a fourth of a cup of date syrup. You could use uh, maple syrup if you want. Vanilla extract, fine sea salt. Okay, let's blend this up until thick smooth and creamy. It should sort of resemble um, hummus. <laughs> this is how I make hummus. It 
Do I match my cheesecake or do I match my cheesecake? It's smooth, it's creamy, it's the same color as my shirt. Also, we are gonna freeze it, it's gonna firm up and be creamy, but it's gonna set. So don't be nervous if you're like, ooh, Meg, that looks a little loose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, it's supposed to, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, to our cool cheesecake crust, I'm gonna pour half of this mixture in. So it should be about five cups. Alrighty. So just spread this out into a flat, even layer. This is so pretty when it comes out of the springform pan. It's like layer, layer, layer. If you want, you can kind of bang it down a little bit to release any of the bubbles that might be forming. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about 20 minutes until it firms up, and I'm gonna show you how to make the coffee portion. So while my vanilla portion freezes, I'm gonna make my coffee portion, and then I'll bring it back in to pour it over. I need two tablespoons of Kicking Horse ground coffee, and I'm using their medium roast. And then I'm gonna add one to two tablespoons more of date syrup, because, you know, I wanna make it a little sweeter, and then blend this up. And it won't be super, super smooth, like you'll still get some of those coffee bits, which I, I like. <laughs> <laughs> Great. This is what it should look like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It honestly smells like coffee and cream. All right, I'm going to set this aside for 20 minutes while my first layer freezes, clean everything up, and show you how this all comes together. This is frozen for 20 minutes. It watched fro frozen for 20 minutes. I stopped it, and I was like, wait. <laughs> There's a second one, and they were like, get out of town. So they started watching the second one. This is the second layer. My coffee layer, pour it straight on top. Why am I freezing it? Because this would all just mix together. That wasn't frozen below. Flatten into an even layer, and then we're gonna pop back in the freezer for another 20 to 30 minutes until it's firm, and then we'll cut it up, but let's freeze this. I wanna show you how pretty this comes out. My cheesecake has firmed up, and it's gonna come out like, a champ. Woo does that look insane or does that look insane? So you can see all the layers, my gluten-free crust, my vanilla base with the Garden of Life creamer, collagen creamer, and then the top, my coffee layer with the kicking horse ground coffee. Coffee, creamer, collagen, I'll show you guy. So as beautiful as this looks, I'm gonna dust it with some cocoa powder. You definitely don't have to do this, but I want to, so I'm gonna do it. Just a light dusting. You could kind of go in whatever. You could cover it completely. So just dust, dust, dust the top. It looks gorgeous. Okay, let's cut it up so I can show you how beautiful this looks. Just kind of rock your knife back and forth. Okay. Keep this in the freezer until you need it, and then just pop it out 30 minutes before you want to slice it so it just slices easily. Oh my gosh, you can really see the layers. That looks so good. And guess what? You can find all these ingredients at thrivemarket.com slash prep school. Oh man. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Like an ice cream cake. You know, you're in a kit, you were a kid and you would get ice cream cakes and you'd be so psyched because they are amazing. That's what it reminds me of. It's creamy, I can taste that vanilla, but I can also taste, I get like a hit of the coffee. The crust is crunchy and cinnamony and it's so good. Oh man, you guys, I really hope you make this one. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you make it. See you later. It's really cold. <laughs> and I loosened it with my Migo spatula. <laughs> ah, yeah, woo, offset. Cut all this, yeah?